What's up everyone? I am Jamie with Three Little Goats Homestead. Wow, I said I was going to make weekly videos again, but life kind of got in the way. It got really hot and we just had a lot of stuff we needed to get done. But today we are going on a field trip. Usually when we go on a field trip it's to get an animal, but we are not getting an animal today. At least we don't intend on getting an animal today, but it is something for the farm that we really, really need. So we gotta get chores done. Jesse is over feeding the cows and I've got to milk the goats this morning. So let's get chores done so we can get ready to go. So the goats are milked and all the animals are fed. I do have one more chore before we can leave. I have milk pickups today and Gavin will be home for all of those, but just to make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer the milk that gets put in bags. So those are ready to go and then label everything so he can just find the person's name. It'll have the total that they owe and it'll be a lot easier for him to figure it all out. All right, so this is the current state of my milk fridge. Most of this milk will be gone by the end of the day. I do have to transfer some into bags for some customers and then we'll label them all up and it'll be ready to go. All right, so now that everything is transferred and put into bags, this is how I organize all of our milk pickups if I'm not gonna be here. Jesse will take care of pickups when I'm at farmer's markets. If for some reason we have to run somewhere together, Gavin takes care of pickups. But I put all of our milks that need to be picked up in bags. I do have people that prefer the bags for pickup. So I try to section everybody so it's a little bit easier to figure out. So I've got those for one person, those for another, that jar for a pickup, and then a couple more jars down here for pickup. And I put the prices on everything. That way Gavin knows exactly how much everything costs. All right, so now that that is all done, I think we are just about ready to finally hit the road to go and check out a new addition for the farm. So let's go. Hopefully they have what we need.
so we are back. It's later in the evening. We've already ate dinner. So Jesse had to go to a meeting. So it is up to me and Gavin to finish up all of evening chores. So I figured we will take you along with that while we kind of talk about how our day went. So after a lot of just thinking about it and researching, we decided that it was time to get a new tractor. If you guys have been around for a while, you've probably seen Little Blue. She was a little MS or little LS MT125 and she was a subcompact. She worked great at our old property and it was nice to have that little backhoe on it. But for the amount of land we have now, she just wasn't cutting it literally. She could only pull about a four foot max brush hog. So brush hogging all of this with a four foot brush hog would have taken multiple days. Oh, oh good, good evening, stinky boys. All right. Don't mind me. These goats are so dramatic. So, you also, if you've been around for a while, know that when we bought this property, we bought the previous owner's old tractor. It was a Ford, I want to say 4360. Don't quote me on that. I'll put it down here in the corner somewhere. And I, that, that tractor can do pretty much anything we need it to do. But the downside is, it is an older tractor. And if you've ever drove an older tractor, you know that sometimes those clutches can be pretty difficult. <laughs> yeah. And while the clutches is fine, I have no problems with shifting the tractor that clutch when you have really bad knees it takes a toll on you after a little while of going back and forth moving round bales and jesse and i aren't getting any younger so we figured it was time for an upgrade so we decided that we're going to sell little blue and big blue and we're going to get a mid-sized blue well, she's still big blue because she's, I think, 56 or 57 horsepower. So she's just a little bit smaller than our old Ford. But she'll be a lot easier to drive and a lot easier on the knees. If I let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So we ended up going to the LS dealership at a feed store up in Missouri we, we like the LS's, they're pretty good price compared to what you get for the size. And we never had any issues with Little Blue, so we decided to go with another LS tractor. So right now, they are looking her over, they're filling her tires with fluid. They're going to actually bring the tires out a little bit more, so it's a little bit more stable. And she will hopefully be delivered by the end of this week. I don't know if she'll be delivered in time for this video, but... Nonetheless, she will be here soon. Highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. Yeah. The sky is falling down. Since 
I haven't made a video in a while, I figure if you don't follow us on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or any other social media, you probably don't know that we have a new cow. We've got Susan over here. She's been here for a while, obviously. And then Miss Red is here as well. We did end up selling Snooky because she was an A1, A2 cow. Now, all of our girls now are all A2, A2. And they are all from a grass-fed farm. So they have always been grass-fed. And they do really well at grass-fed. Little Debbie right here, she is a heifer. She is due to calve. Hopefully in the next few weeks, she has started to back up. If I mess with her udder too much, she will start to drip. So I try not to mess with her udder too much other than when she's on the stand training. She isn't stanchion trained because she's never had to be on the stanchion. But she is learning and doing really well with it. There's, well, there's rocks everywhere, but that one almost tried to kill me. So milking is done. All of the equipment is clean for the night. I tried to film as much as I could, but was it just me being me and Gavin? And I'm kind kind of on a time crunch when it comes to the milk. We want to get it in to start cooling down as quickly as possible. So I tried to film what I could, but all of that is done for the night. It's finally starting to cool down a little bit. It is 7.30 and it is roughly, oh, 85 degrees with about 50% humidity. The only thing I have left to do for tonight's chores is to water. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually like explained our watering system or our greenhouse in general at all. But uh, the way that we water is a little bit different. We don't want to put any extra pressure on our well that we don't have to so we actually water from the pond it is a stocked pond uh i don't know if you can see it there is a red buoy right there and that's actually keeping a pump in the water afloat and it's ran by the solar panel that is over there and there is a pump inside that we can use to fill up our tank and then a pump that pumps the water out for us to water. I am very ashamed of my greenhouse right now because I haven't been in here to weed. I have to stake up a lot of tomato plants that have started to fall over, but it's been so hot. And usually I like to do that in the morning and with farmer's markets going on right now, mornings are really tough. So I'm gonna try to get some of that stuff done, but first I gotta get everything watered. Give me love, give me all your love 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 Give me all your love
Inside. I've just been kind of rummaging through the garden picking what I just caught my eye and apparently at one point in a sleep deprived heat stroke I decided to plant all of the beans so I've got purple beans wax beans green beans snap peas all kinds of different peas and beans in here but we also got some cucumbers a ton of peppers I didn't even pick all of the peppers because there wouldn't have been enough room in this basket for anything else and then some snacking cherry tomatoes. My aromas and all that still haven't quite started to turn red yet, but my cherry tomatoes are, so we are taking full advantage and snacking on those whenever they turn red. All right, so I'm going to end this video so I can go and take a shower because I am drenched in sweat. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We are hopefully going to start putting out videos every week. I say that every time I make a video and then it's like a month until I make another video. But I have a bunch of video ideas that I want to put out. So hopefully I can get them filmed and we can actually start uploading on a regular schedule again. So subscribe for that and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Susan, are you getting impatient? You got to tell little Deb that she needs to hurry it up.